find the value of each of the following without using a calculator. So how do you find the square root of 81? Okay, so and, and all these numbers, square root of 49, this is B, this is A, and the square root of 1 to 1, and the square root of 900. Okay, C and D. Okay, so um, what we have to do is to do the multiplication of numbers. Multiplication of the same thing or the power of the numbers. That is 1 power 2 is 1 because 1 times 1. So 2 power 2, 4. 3 power 2 is 9, 4 power 2 is 16, 5 power 2, 25, 6 power 2, 36, 7 to the power of 2, 49, 8 power of 2, 64, and then uh, we continue, uh, 9 power 2 will be what, uh, 81, then 10 power 2 will be 100 and then we continue usually for this one we continue with until uh, 20 okay so 11 power 2 is 1 to 1 12 power 2 will be 144 okay so uh, I think uh, enough for, to, for this one okay so what we have to do here and what you have to understand, square root of a number is another number that multiplied by itself and you get this. So, it means here, you are talking about this one. That is, square root of 81 is 9 times 9. Okay? So, it is square root of 9 squared. Okay, square root of 9 squared is 9 and for your info you don't have to do all these things if you remember this okay so and so the next question will be square root of 49 you have to try to memorize okay so while doing this you can use calculator use calculator to calculate this number okay so you practice with uh, then later you you, uh, you do practice without using calculator so this one, 7. Because 7 times 7 is 49. This one will be 11. So this one will be, wow, this number is out of range. Okay? So in case that they ask you a number that is big enough, so you have to, uh, without using calculator, but uh, you are given calculator, actually. Alright? Uh, Alright, so just let's say, let's say you are not given calculator. There is some test that is you are not given calculator. 900, you have to guess. Guess, okay, maybe I don't have 12, I have 12 here. I guess is 20. So you try 20 times 20. Okay, so 20 times 20, you don't have to multiply this. So, you just multiply the number other than 0. 2 times 2 is 4. And then, at the back, there are two zeros. So, 400. Oh, still far away. Test again. Um, at the back is 0. So, if you understand, you see here, 1, 2, 3, 3. At the end, it's always other number, not 0. Except this one. 10 squared is 1. So, this one should be 30. So let's 3, 30 times 30. Ataupun what we say 3 times 3 will be 9. So you have another 2 zero will be 900. So square root of 900 will be 30. Okay, but that is the easy part. Okay, let's continue with the, the more difficult part. So that is the question two. Oh, 
Oh, we have uh, not question two, but we have E, F. Okay, let me brief you all this question first. Square root of 49 over 81. That is, this is same with square root of 49 over square root of 81. Okay, so square root of 49 will be 7. Square root of 89 will be 9. Uh, so, uh, yeah, 81, it will be 9. So, the answer is 7 over 9. Okay. Similarly with F, uh, this is square root of 7, 1 over 9. So, you have to make these numbers to this pattern or to fraction pattern. Make it into improper fraction. How to make it into pro improper fraction? 7 times 9 plus 1. 7 times 9 is what? 63. Plus 1, 64. So this one will be square root of 64 over 9. So for your info, you don't have to write like this. Okay? Just for intro, yes, I, I wrote like that. But you don't have to. So you can just find the square root of 64, which is... 8 and square root of 9 will be 3 and since the equation is in a fraction form is in uh, in the what uh, in the mixed number so I'll give mixed number how to change to mixed number 8 divided by 3 so 8 divided by 3 will be 3 times 2 will be 6 8 minus 6 will be 2 and then so the answer is this one is another two, uh, 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 a big two, and then this two over three. This is how you read. Okay? Uh, and then we have another that is 50 over 1 to 8. So sometimes you have a big number like that. Okay, all mark. You have G 50 square of 50. Over 1 to 8 You will find that this number Doesn't exist there It does not exist Right? If you notice just now Okay Okay. So what you have to do here Is that you might have to simplify So you divide Both by 2 Okay? You divide by, by 2 50 divided by 2 If you do not know You divide 50 divided by 2 uh, You get um, 2 and 4 here and you minus you get 10 and 5 so 25 okay and then similarly 1 to 8 if on the top you divide by 2 here also you divide by 2 so 1 to 8 will be 6 will be 12 then 8 divided by 2 will be 4 so minus 8 okay 64 okay so now you have this number uh, 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 for your info just now lah, okay? So square root of 25 Will be 5 Square root of 64 Will be 8 That is for G How about for uh, H Square root of 2.25 Okay? So, the easiest one, we change like this. How to change to fraction? Okay, you take the 2. This is big 2. 0.25. If after point, there are two numbers, it means the two numbers is over 100. That is how you change to uh, fraction. Okay? If the, the, after the decimal is three numbers, it's over 1000. So, uh, 25 and 100, if you do multiplication, so 25, uh, okay, sorry, 25, 50, 75, 100. So, mean 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, if we simplify this, you get 1 and 4. So, it is square root of 2, 1 over 4. So, square root of 2, 1 over 4 is the same with 
change to improper fraction. So 2 times 4 plus 1 will be 9 over 4. And square root of 9 over 4 will be, square root of 9 will be 3, square root of 4 will be 2. So the 3 divided by 2 will be 2, oh sorry, will be 1 there, will be 2 and 1. So we have 1, this is big, this, this is the 1, and then 1 over 2, 1 over 2. Okay, any question on that?